Hey, welcome back everybody to another video. Today, I want to do a couple different things. Um, I went to a, a card show uh, in St. Louis area um, over the weekend and picked up a handful of things. And I just thought I would share with, with you guys what I got. And also thought I would continue, you know, I'm going to rip open six packs of these 89 Donruss cards from that box that I've been opening. See if we can find that King Griffey Jr. Uh, rookie card and a couple other couple other nice rookies that are in there too. But um, also, while I was out and about that, that this past weekend of that card show, um, I picked up myself a couple of magnetic one-touches. I've had these cards for a while, but I haven't had anything to... I actually had this one for a while, but I haven't had anything to put it in. A nice National Treasures Lou Brock. Um, so I'll keep this up here to kind of show it off because I love I love the National Treasures booklets. So in number eight out of fifteen, cut signature for Lou Brock, hundred for one hundred eighteen stolen bases in nineteen seventy four. And this card I actually just picked up. I just got this one in the mail. So another National Treasures booklet, Rod Carew with a jumbo game used bat relic. And that one's number three out of ten. Got both of those for for what I felt were very nice prices. So um, let's get into uh, what I picked up at the, the card show. The uh, first thing, I'm looking for my other one. I don't know what happened to it. I got two of these. There it is. It fell. Sorry about that. It fell. But picked up two Dansby Swanson rookies. Got those for a dollar a piece. So I'm not going to pass up Dansby Swanson rookie cards for a buck a piece. Thought so that was a pretty good deal. For $1.50, picked up a Bo Jackson uh, image variation short print from 2016 Tops. Thought that was uh, pretty cool. 2017 Tops. I said the wrong year. But I, th I wasn't sure if I had that one or not, but for $1.50 for a that's kind of like his, it's very similar to his 90 upper deck making the snow cone catch. But I like that one. This one, I picked these up from a guy who had all three of them in his box. So some tops, triple threads. Don Mattingly, you got the base card there. Did not have that one in my collection. I have the, uh, got the purple parallel also. You can see it says five bucks on it. I think when I totaled up my order here, I I think he, I think I totaled twenty three or twenty four dollars worth of cards at that guy's booth, and I asked him if he'd do twenty, and he said sure. So a purple parallel, triple threads, Mattingly, and a gold parallel also, numbered out of ninety nine. So I thought those looked pretty cool. Did not have any of the triple threads in my collection. Got this for a. Uh, this one was a dollar also, a Topps Fire, Trey Mancini rookie card. Didn't think that was a bad deal. This one, huh. these next several, I found these in quarter boxes. So for a quarter, you know, I got some pretty decent cards here, but every single one of these were a quarter. This one, I thought this was, just, uh, I had not seen this card before, but this one is a Top Stadium Club from 20, I'm looking here. 2015, but I like Greg Maddox, and that's a uh, that's a great picture there. Stadium Club, Greg Maddox playing a round of golf. <clears throat> I did have this one, but for a quarter, I'll pick another one up. First year Stadium Club, 91. Love that King Griffey Jr. image. Thought that was cool. This one, still in a quarter box, but a... Uh, that's some 2019 Tops Chrome. Nothing huge, but a Corbin Burns Prism Refractor rookie card for a quarter. I thought, yeah, I will take that. A uh, couple of Kyle Tuckers here that were in the quarter box. Got a Tops Chrome Freshman Flash rookie card, a base Tops Chrome for a quarter, and then a 2019 Optic, the rookies. Kyle Tucker, those were a quarter apiece. Then our uh, good friend uh, Cedric Mullins 
had a couple of his cards, a few of his cards there that were in the quarter box. So I thought, well, I'm, I'll pick those up. Two of the 84 designs. And then a refractor, Topps Chrome, a uh, rookie card, Cedric Mullins. I thought, well, for a quarter, that's not too bad. So I'll go ahead and pick that one up. And then a few other things here. An 89 Fleer, Gary Sheffield rookie card. Have a bunch of that, but I'll take it. I'll take it for a quarter all day. An '87 Fleer, a headliner, Jose Canseco, second year. I thought that was. I have that car, but the one I have is in pretty rough shape. Really like this one, Topps Tribute, um, Eddie Murray. <clears throat> I don't know what even what year it is. 2012 Topps Tribute, Eddie Murray base card for a quarter. I thought that was pretty cool. This one, um, I passed up on several Mattingly's that were like, you know, more like 10 cent Mattingly's I had in there for the quarter, but an 85 second year for a quarter. I have a ton of the 85 Fleers, but I'll always get another one of that one. And then this one, uh, it's a Leaf Certified from, what year is this from? 2002 Leaf Certified. I wasn't 100% if I had that one or not. I know I have a parallel of this one. I'm pretty sure I do, but I wasn't sure if I actually had the base yet, but... For a quarter, I'll just stick it in the box with all the other Mattingly doubles if I if I already do have it. I keep all my unique Mattingly's. I keep a copy of each one in a binder so I can see it. And then all my duplicates I keep in 5,000 count boxes. All right, so some other stuff here. These were all top loaded. I did not take them out of the, the uh, top loaders yet. But uh, I'll... I'll take them all out of the top loader and re-sleeve without the price tags on them and everything. But an 84 Don Russ, Wade Boggs, second year card. This guy had several 84 Don Russ, like Hall of Fame players like that for a buck or so. And but well, that's in pretty, pretty good condition. Another one that I have a few copies of, but that one's in pretty, pretty nice shape. Uh, this next one here, it's a 79 Tops, George Brett. For a dollar, you can see the you know, that bottom corner is a little bit soft, but always look for <coughs> updates of cards that I currently have that are in a little bit better condition. This one, I like this card a lot too. I have this one, but I picked it up for a buck. Hallowed Highlights, I don't know what year is that, 2017 tops, something like that, 2016 tops. Hallowed highlights Don Manley commemorating when he hit eight home runs in a, or eight had a home run in eight straight games, I should say. But I like that card. Picked up a copy of that. This one, I have a few of these, but I did not have the Greg Maddox in my collection. But this is an S Don or a Upper Deck it's an SPX. Those are pretty cool looking cards. So I picked up the Maddox for a buck. This one. I was really happy to find this one. I like Rod Carew also, but had a SP from 2020 Tops. I did not have that one yet for a short print for $2.50. Take that all day long. I like that card quite a bit. Another 84 Don Russ here, Nolan Ryan, and a little more than I typically would have paid, but when I picked it up and looked at it and saw how great the condition was on this, you know, I thought $2.50, that's not, not too bad at all. I mean, that's a very well-centered Sharp corners, just beautiful looking card of Nolan Ryan for two fifty. Pick that up. This next one here, a nineteen seventy eight tops, Gary Carter for a buck. I think I have that one too, but again, always can't go wrong with with seventies Hall of Fame players. And then let's see, got a, a couple of different Rod Carews here that I was that I picked up. This guy had. You can see the sticker at the top for three dollars, and then he had every he had a sign up that said every uh, 70, 60s and seventies Hall of Fame card that he had he had twenty percent off of. So you know, I ended up getting this for like two dollars and forty cents. But uh, you can see a nice nineteen seventy eight tops Rod Carew, pretty nice, pretty nice condition. Then I got here a league leaders card, a batting leaders card from seventy eight tops. Or sorry, 76 tops. It says it's 75 liters, so 76 top. Got Fred Lynn, Thurman Munson on there also. Check out that batting average. 359. 
Next closest guy was 331, Fred Lins. Pretty, pretty cool. But a nice uh, 76 tops. <clears throat> Next, we got a couple uh, 75 tops, Rod Carews. A league leaders, 75 tops for hits. For bad essence, for batting average also. You can see his batting average there, 364 in 1974. And then I got the base, 75 tops. I have this one. The one I have has got some super fuzzy corners on it, but I like that one. That one's in pretty nice condition. I had several of these there, and I picked out the one that looked the nicest condition. This next one's a little bit off-center, but a 74 tops crew for 250 with the 20% off, so got it for 2 bucks, but a little bit off-center. But other than that, nice, nice corners on it like that one quite a bit. Um, next card I got here is on a Mattingly Relic that I did not have. This is a SP, Upper Deck SP Legendary Cuts, and it's just a little a stitch in time, Jersey Relic. I think the guy had 10 bucks on that. I looked up comps to see what they had sold for. There's only been a couple sold for on eBay, and he came down and met the comp. The comp was like seven bucks, and he said he would take seven bucks for it, so... Got that for seven dollars. Didn't have that one. Um, then for a dollar, um, a second year Ricky Henderson. Again, it's one another one that I have, but I like that one quite a bit. It's a cool picture. 1981 tops. You can see a second year there. Henderson. And not gonna go wrong with that for a buck. Uh, the final card that I picked up, the final single that I picked up, a uh, Dale Murphy rookie card for three bucks. Didn't think that was too bad. Corners are kind of eh on it, but, you know, I figured for a 1977 Tops Dale Murphy rookie card, another guy who should have a lot more consideration for the Hall of Fame. Um, I like that one quite a bit, too. And those are just the singles I picked up. I didn't pick up a lot of wax, a lot of pack boxes or anything like that. I don't actually, actually, this time I only bought one box, and this is this is the one box that I bought. A jumbo box of 2021 Series 2. And the only reason I bought it is because I got close to the end of the day. I was about ready to leave and there was a, uh, a family there and they had these Series 2 jumbo boxes stacked up on their table and they were selling them for 100 bucks a piece. I thought, man, you know, I, you can't go wrong for a jumbo box for 100 bucks. That's the cheapest, about the cheapest I've seen them online is like 125 but for a hundred bucks, I had to force myself to not buy several of what they had. But I just, I just stuck with one, uh, one box for now, and I'll probably open that up. I don't know if I'll open it up on the channel or not. You have to, if you, if you want to see it opened up on the channel, let me know, and I can, I'll do that. But I'm not sure how many people still want to see 2021 tops. So, anyway, we're gonna wrap things up. I'm gonna rip into, I want to get some packs opened up on this video too. So I'm going to tear into these 89 Donruss packs here. I just counted whenever I took these out. I've got 24 packs left in that box. <clears throat> so this will take us, with 36 packs, this will take us about a, th what, a third of the way. A third of the way done with that box. Let's see some purple coming up here. There's a Dante Bichette rookie card. And a checklist. <clears throat> you guys have to let me know if you've hit up any card shows or anything in your areas. I don't have any card shows in my areas. I drove. So we drove about an hour and a half away to get to this card show. They usually do one at this place. For, I love that car when I was a kid for some reason. I had a ton of those. But Kurt Gibson there. But yeah, we drove an hour and a half away to get to get to this card show they have one at this facility they usually have one about once a month and free admission to get in lots of dealers um there's a hall of famer there ozzy smith steve searcy rookie tim raines jose canseco Speaking of Jose Canseco, I just saw another card show that's going to be in St. Louis um, next month, I think. Jose Canseco is going to be there signing autographs. Hey, there we go. 
Don Mangley and Wade Boggs back to back. But yeah, look at that. Of course, Don Mangley would have a jacked up corner on it. That's okay. There's that something stuck to it. No, the corner's kind of funky. I don't know. I think I might have 812 of that card. Now I have 813. But yeah, Jose Canseco is going to be at the, one of the next card shows in the St. Louis area, signing some autographs. And uh, I don't know if I'll go to that one or not, but I've got to limit myself. Another Hall of Famer there, Cal Ripken Jr. And Pete Smith, or Barry Larkin, Hall of Famer. Roberto Alomar also. Let's see. Hojo. Oh, Greg Harris. And if I get a Griffey, I don't want it to be on the back. Well, you probably can't. Maybe you can see that. Lots of wax on Paul Kilgus. I don't want my Griffey waxed off, waxed up, and messed up on the back. Could go through this whole box and not find one single Griffey, which is very possible. Tommy Gregg. There's a Cal Ripken MVP. No, Carmen Castillo. Got a couple purples coming up here. Mike Greenwell MVP. That's a cool looking car. I always like that one. And Mickey Tettleton. So, last pack. Last pack that we'll do in this video. I'll keep on sprinkling in some of these 89 Don Russes with my other breaks and other videos and never ending saga. It'll end. If you don't find one, that's okay. I'll keep looking. Greg Maddox. Nice, very nice Hall of Famer there. Jim Gott. Got a couple of the purple ones coming up here. It's Marvell Wynn. Oh, it's a T. Tom Pagnazzi. Don Carmen, Danny Darwin, Dave Gallagher, and Odeby McDowell to wrap it up. So, no Griffey, but hopefully you enjoyed Hopefully you enjoyed seeing what I picked up at the card show. And uh, let me know if you've been, again, if you've been to any card shows, let me know if you want to you know, see this box opened up on the channel. I will. If not, I'll just open it up off camera and enjoy it that way. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.